there's two squirrels across the street like going at it and it is real cute you guys are killing me <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Handmade. I am Jenny and I am so excited to be here today. It has been entirely too long since I've been on here, but I am back in the crafting saddle and me and my trusty glue gun are going to bring you a really fun project today. So this project is everything I love about crafting. It's an upcycle. It is extremely easy. It is very inexpensive and it's colorful. So we're gonna take a tomato cage that I stole out of my garden at the end of the season and I'm going to turn it into a basket with less than $5 in materials. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it, let's get started. All right, first we need to cut our tomato cage. Use a strong pair of wire cutters to snip just below the second ring of the cage. To make the basket, I used two colors of cotton twine. I only paid about $1.50 for each of these on sale. You could also make your basket with a single color, but for me, the brighter the better. Use the two strands to form a ball. If you have a cat, be sure to enlist their help. Form about four individual balls a bit larger than a golf ball. This will save you so much time down the line. Now we are ready to form the bottom of the basket. Set the cage on the table so that the smaller circle is facing up. That will be the bottom. Tie the twine to one of the vertical supports. Once the twine is secure, take your twine to the opposite side of the circle. Run the twine under the edge and back around. Repeat that action. Each time you cross the middle, go over the center point, then at each edge, go under and around. Each loop should be evenly spaced at about a half an inch. Your twine should be taut, but not tight. If it is too tight, it could warp your basket. Pause occasionally to make sure your loops are even. Continue until the entire bottom is covered. When you reach the beginning, tie off using the tails of the first knot. Next time, I'm adding some pom-pom trim to the top edge. I got this super cute trim on super sale and I just paid a couple of dollars for it. I only needed about a yard of trim. Fill the basket so you are working on the top rim now. This is the larger of the two rims. Using a hot glue gun, carefully glue the trim by wrapping it around the top of the rim. The pom-pom should be facing out. Glue all the way around the circle. Don't worry about perfection, our twine will mostly cover this. When you're done, trim off the excess. All right, now it is time to weave the sides of the basket. Tie on the twine to the same vertical post. Run the twine up and over the edge of the cage. For each gap in the bottom weaving, add two vertical stitches. Each time, run the twine over the top hoop, back through the center, and then around the front side of the bottom hoop and back through the center again. It's kind of like a figure eight. Remembering to run the twine away from you around each hoop will help. If you run out of twine, simply tie on a new ball and continue. When you reach the beginning, tie off the twine. You may have to take a few moments throughout the process to even up your loops. Keep them again taut, but not tight, and with equal distance between each. 
Don't worry too much about the pom-poms. We'll fix those in the next step. Rotate the basket, assuring that all loops are even. As you do this, you will need to find the best spaces to pull out the pom-poms. You will most likely need to move a few loops to keep everything evenly spaced. And that's it, easy and colorful, my kind of DIY. Y'all, I honestly cannot believe that two hours ago, this was just a sad tomato cage. I love a good upcycle, but I particularly love it when it is cheap, easy, and so fun and funky. So I think I'm going to use this to store all of my yarn, like my super extensive collection of yarn. But when I was making it, I also decided it could be the cutest lampshade. Which one would you use it for? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.